This will be BBC Moody 5. Now, both the Believer's Bible Commentary and the Moody Bible Commentary, as I mentioned before, are both extremely good. And what you'll notice in the Believer's Bible Commentary, when they do have comments other than the author himself, it will have a number under it, and then you can go back and look at the notes itself. And that will give his sources, maybe even some other comments, where in the Moody Bible, it doesn't do that. What it does is have the notes not numbered, but just has them describe who wrote it, and then it will mark it out. So that's the way the Moody Bible does it. Also, in the Believer's Bible Commentary, it has a lot of other things in it, like maps, uh, the timeline of all the different people in a certain period of the Bible that are together, like all the descendants of Adam and so forth. And in the Moody Bible, it will also have maps and timelines, but that's a little more specific and a little, a little larger as far as that goes. And I believe it does have more maps, but the Believer's Bible Commentary has actual photos in it, which this doesn't have as much. Now, when it comes to cross-references, there are some in a Bible Believer's Commentary book, but there are more in the Moody Bible, because when you look in here, what you will find in many, many places is when they're talking about anything in particular, they will give you other places to look. So there are cross references all the way through. For example, when you're in Proverbs 10, it says right here, uh, it rather endures his wrongs to reconcile him and save him from death. Then it gives you all kinds of cross references all over the place. And then it has a, place where it got those cross references. So this is another thing that is similar and different about these two wonderful commentaries.